With fasting being known as the new health trend, more and more people bring up concerns about their kidneys during fasting and wondering if it is safe to fast if you have some kidney issues. Some people have even experienced kidney stones and urinary tract infections during fasting, especially during dry fasting. So is fasting good for the kidneys or bad? That is what I'm going to discuss in this video right after this intro, so stay tuned. Hi, I'm Dr. Legrand. Welcome to my fasting channel. If you are looking for a channel that talks all about fasting and health tips, fasting science and research, you have come to the right place and should hit the subscribe button to keep it locked here on the Dr. Legrand Show every Tuesday and Thursday at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. In this video, I'm going to talk about how fasting affects the kidneys and if it helps with kidney disease. I will go over the concerns for kidney disease and I will also go over the research that is provided about how fasting the kidneys and kidney disease. The kidneys play an important role in the body. They assist in excretion of toxic waste materials through urination. Unfortunately, kidney disease is a relatively common disease and considered a public health concern. In one study, scientists found that chronic kidney disease may affect up to 13% of the global population. There are five different stages of chronic kidney disease, and without treatment, the condition progresses through these stages up to the point where fatal complications may be reached. There are different ways that kidney diseases can be treated. The specific treatment protocol depends on the type of disease, as well as the severity of the symptoms and effects experienced by the patient. In some studies, scientists have suggested that fasting may have a beneficial effects for people with existing chronic kidney disease. A study that was led by a scientist at the National Clinical Research Center for Kidney Diseases in China explains that almost 1 million people die each year from chronic kidney disease. They go on to explain that a new study was initiated in order to determine the effects that fasting may have on kidney diseases and to address any safety concerns. Two groups of participants were involved in the study. One group were provided with a program that had a 60% restriction in caloric intake on certain days. This was the fasting group. The other group was fed a relatively normal diet. Following the study period, several improvements were seen in those who were on the fasting program. Improvements noted by the scientist behind the study included a reduction in urea nitrogen, decreased creatinine levels in kidneys, a reduction in protein detected in urine samples. The same study also noted that there seems to be a lower prevalence of kidney diseases among people who practice fasting on a regular basis. The survival rate of individuals with existing chronic kidney diseases who adopt a fasting program may be extended by an average of 700 to 800 days. It is, however, important to note that fasting needs to be done right among individuals with existing kidney diseases. In one study, scientists looked at how to complete fasting would affect kidney function. There was an increase in creatinine and uric acid levels after 11-day water fast. A reduction in glomerular filtration rate was also noted. Thus, the study concluded that a slight decrease in renal function exists with prolonged fasting. At the same time, however, reduced body weight as well as lower blood pressure and a significant reduction in oxidative stress were noted. Kidney disease affects a large number of people today and can lead to complications that may become fatal in some cases. Fasting has been shown to have potentially beneficial effects on patients with existing kidney disease, but an intermittent fasting program needs to be created carefully as an appropriate diet and the wrong strategy may cause a higher risk of kidney stones and other possible complications. Please let me and the community know in the comment section below if you have improved your kidneys through fasting or if you have not. Also, don't hesitate to ask any further questions about fasting. 
Keep it locked here with Dr. Legrand by clicking on the subscribe button right here. For more things on fasting benefits, check out this playlist right here. If you want to know more about liver disease and how fasting can help benefit that, check out this video right here. Thank you for watching, and until next time, this is Dr. Legrand signing out. Bye.